So it's almost the end of Black History Month and you know I had to come through and give you a look with all black owned beauty products. Yes. So we're going to create this look today. We're going to talk about some of the black owned brands that I have in my collection, which I love that I have a lot of them. I do feel like I need more and I do feel like certain areas of makeup products, there could be some easier choices, some easier finds, but overall, I feel like every time I do this video, it's progressing more and more. So I like that. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. This is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So you see it. We are doing a look, this look right here, where I am using all black on beauty products. So yes, I feel like in the past we were having to turn to black owned beauty products because they were the only ones that could understand our skin concerns. The only ones that were giving us pigment with our eyeshadows. And sometimes that still is the case, but I feel like it's getting a lot better across the board. But I feel like it's very important that we highlight these brands every time. I use these a lot of these brands almost every single day so they are no stranger in my collection but let me go ahead and introduce myself if you are new to this channel welcome and if you're older but goody welcome on back my name is Ashley I have a doctorate in pharmacy I love makeup eyeshadow is my jam but please just call me Ash or Ashley so like I mentioned before I have this look for you today so let's just go ahead let's jump in I'm playing in some makeup and having a little fun and creating this face for you let's get started let's go ahead and get started I have a blank face. I do have like a little bit of hives. That's those are hives on my face right there. Um, something is irritating. I'm not sure what's irritating me. I the only thing I can think of is I drink sun cholera. Um, and I had some my father gave me some powdered ones when I was sick, and that was fine. And then I switched over to the granules. And all of a sudden, I just started breaking out. So maybe it's something with the granules. That's the only thing I can think of that's different. Because lately, I've just been having a lot of just... <laughs> just just a lot it's just been a lot going on so for my brows unfortunately I don't have anything black owned in my collection I went in with my usual you know the goof proof pencil this is my benefit cosmetics this is a goof proof 3.75 did my brows with that and I used to have the Fenty pencil I liked it for a moment and then I didn't really like it and I've had something else for brows that was black on but usually most parts of my collection you will find something black on the only thing in lashes at the moment unless i still have my colored rain lashes in the drawer i'm gonna double check but okay so for the eye primer we're gonna go in with the juvia's Pre place eye prep eye prime this is shade number two unfortunately yes juvia's place baby you got more controversy yet again i like the brand but i can just honestly say that some moments they just don't handle themselves the greatest and if you're wondering they uh, said uh, they had an influencer that said a slur it was an Asian slur so <laughs> I'm just putting it out there if you're wondering what's going on with the brand but I'm gonna go ahead and use this primer this primer is actually not bad I have used it a lot in my videos and I do kind of forget that sometimes you need to shake it up that's the best way to use this so let me just shake it up a little bit it's a little liquidy as you can see <laughs> it's just like it's a lot but we got a prime and I'm just gonna take a real technique brush blend that on out I probably need to add some more but I'll add it in a second because if you use too much of this primary I mean you can it's, just, it's very easy to as you can see go in what I got see on this side I have so much more so take a few of that there dab it over there there we go working on out 
Now, I swear, this was the hardest part about picking out my products. I have so many eyeshadow palettes by black owned brands, especially, you know, Pat McGrath. But this is what I decided on. I decided to use my Light Work Palette uh, Volume 3 by Danessa Myrix, you know, with the beautiful multi-chrome. So I'm so sorry if you don't have this, but this palette is freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then for some mattes, because this doesn't have any mattes, I decided to go in with my Botanical Garden palette from Colored Rain. Now, I know I didn't give it the best ranking, but I do like the mattes. So, I do like the mattes. So, we're, we're going to go with it, okay? First, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is, what is it called? Leonatus. And I got a Wayne Goss number 16 brush. And I'm just going to pop this in the crease. I just want something so we can transition into some of our multi combs. And look how much pigment. <laughs> just look. Wait. This might have been just a little bit brighter than I thought it was going to be, but I don't know what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend that back and forth with some windshield wiper motions. And I just wanted to display as many brands as possible. Like I said, this was the eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Like all of me wanted to pitch, just pick up, you know what, with this shirt, just go ahead with Mothership 3 Subversive. But do something a little different. Because Pat McGrath will show up for sure later on. We have a little bit of wash of color, but I think I want to go in and intensify it here. That's the only thing about using sometimes these primers that are so emollient. It's like you lose a little bit of the shadow. So I just want to go ahead. Do that, or sometimes you just got to wait a little bit longer for, you know, it to get a little tacky. I'm going to switch it up and go in with a classic crease brush by Sonya G. That, that was like a mouthful. And we're going to go in with the more purple shade this time. So I do want to give the look a little depth. So I'm going to jump in with the shade Black Hole, which is a nice little creamy type of black matte situation and I'm just gonna pick this up with a reference zero two and just you know apply it to the outer me because that's what we do around here and I'm just gonna try to keep it here in this area there we go all right with a fresh refer two this time I'm gonna go in with the shade Gaia this is a beautiful, like, greeny gold multi-chrome. And just look at it. Eee, so pretty. I mean, honestly. I mean, can you even? The shade is so pretty. And I feel like today more of the green is coming out with it because it's kind of like a green bronzy shade. Putting the brush over, I'm going to go in with the shade Solarian, which is a beautiful gold shade. Bronzy gold. There we go. <laughs> so pretty. So, so pretty. my gosh and I just picked up a very little I didn't pick up a whole lot this is really really pretty and it's kind of like just make it you know make it merge make it come together so it's just not you know a block of the two colors and I'm going back in with the first shade Gaia and I'm just gonna kind of fuse the two colors together bring Gaia a little bit further up into the crease. All right, I'm happy with that. So now let's see. Hmm. So this is such just 
a beautiful palette. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if you missed it. It's just freaking gorgeous. And look at the pigment on the mat. So sometimes, you know, now I don't feel like that so much anymore, but a few years ago, it was just like, we really needed these brands around to make a difference in the types of pigment that you got with these shadows. Um, Cause otherwise you just weren't getting them. It's just like, you know, hmm. Let's see, it's really purple McCree's, and I mean, I kind of knew that, but. I'm gonna take the Rose Garden palette by Color Rain, and it's a brown, it's chocolate is rose matte shade in here. And I'm gonna go in with the classic, no, let's change the brush up. I don't even wanna play myself by going in with too big of a brush, so <laughs> let me just go in with a little brush, and then kinda just run from the crease to the outer corner. So like in just kind of blend and it doesn't seem like it made a huge difference but to me I could just tell the difference but I just remember when I first was getting back into makeup colored rain was just coming through see this is what I mean I didn't want to make that mistake go back with our first brush <laughs> um, they were just giving the pigment they were giving the pigment, they're giving the beautiful liquid lipsticks when they came on the market. I mean, Juvia's Place was giving the pigment too. And now brands are getting it, like they're doing more pigment. But it took a moment. It really just took a moment, for sure. Okay, now I feel like I lost some of my inner corner shades. So I'm gonna go back in with that rougher two and just pack it right back. Now let's see, with my face, I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath primer. And we all know like Pat McGrath, oh my goodness. I just feel like, I was like, do I have any? like oh my gosh is this the second one I've gone through or do I have one in the backup drawer okay or maybe it's a little well it's some in there okay I kept pumping it some came out it's been laying on this side but I just feel like Pat McGrath has just been so revolutionary and just taking her brand and having a luxury space, luxury beauty in Sephora, selling well, doing well at that price point. It's just been amazing. You know, before it was just like some of these brands, you just had to catch them on a whim. What was it? We had Black Up at one point. I mean, it, it's just like, I'm not going to say that we're no longer an afterthought, but I feel like it's gotten a little bit better when it comes to makeup and people are really starting to stick up. Like we really needed the allies to stick up for us. It is so sad because honey, we love makeup too. Now I'm going to go in with the lip bar and I'm going to go in with just a tint. And this is a three in one tinted conditioner. It has SPF and hyaluronic acid in it. And I have the shade in honey dip. Yes. Okay. And I actually bought this from their flagship store. So Melissa, if you guys don't know, like her brand baby is doing amazing. Okay. She was on the shark tank and they had colorful lipsticks and that's what they were known for in the beginning because you know the lip bar and the shark tanks told her no they told them that they look like colorful cockroaches how freaking dare you you know okay let me not put too much on but these little squeezy tubes or don't foot applicators to <laughs> foundations i just be like just and then i start buffing it out i'm like Maybe that was too much. And I'm just gonna go in with a BK Beauty 101. Now I do have the Lip Bars Foundation, but I want to go in with the Tinted Moisturizer, okay? So I'm just gonna buff this out. Now, like is it too dark? Oh, that's right on par. It's on par-ish, okay. Cause I did kinda buy this in the summertime, but 
their brand has just taken off. She's in Target. She's in Walmart now. And she is doing amazing. So, honey, when one door closes, another one will open. And she worked it out. And now her brand is over, what, a million dollars? Uh, Melissa, the owner, actually did go to uh, where I went to college. Um, Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, otherwise known as FAMU. Yes, that's where I went to school. I actually don't know her. Um, I did see her when I was coming out of the store and she was with her family. So my friend and I, we didn't really like approach her. And my friend I was with went to FAMU, but she was just like, thank you for supporting. We were sitting down like chilling, having some rosé because where they have their flagship store in Detroit is really cool. It's in the downtown area and it's off this like alley that has like other businesses and they gave us a wine and they were like, well, in this section you can, you know, step outside and drink the wine because their store is small and this was like COVID. So we wanted other people to be able to come in and shop and, you know, not hold up the store. <laughs> so, okay, so this it's looking good. It's looking a little shinier. I don't know if I like it with this primer, to be honest, but the coverage isn't bad. Let me try it with something else. But I will for sure keep using this. Yeah, this is my first time. I've used the foundation before, and I like the foundation, but this is the Tinsel Moisturizer, so yeah. I don't know, because it's just, it's seeming like it's giving me a little texture. Anywho, but so proud of her that she didn't stop, you know? She kept going as I dropped my brush. So for concealer, we got Mama Pat, and you already know how I feel about her brand. I was just talking about it a little bit, you know. I, I just remember when she started the brand and, and you know at first I was like wait 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 mama I, I, I don't I mean like I know who you are I know you had some kits but now you want hundred and twenty dollars for these palettes I, I'm not quite sure about that <laughs> you know what I mean so but her brand has just been consistently good and for just a black woman a woman of so much you know power in the makeup industry to have her brand and Sephora it's just been I, I'm just so proud of it when I tell people like yeah it's expensive sometimes I'll cringe I'll be like eh, well you love this palette especially like if I wear Divine Rose 2 I'm like it is $120 but I was like but she's black and then people be like oh okay <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> they're, they're with it so um it's just, I love seeing her brand do so well. And her complexion products, it's just like, you know, you know she was gonna think about us. She has this beautiful under eye setting powder, so that's what I'm going to use. This is the shade Yellow. And I actually like putting this all over my face. This is a new one. I panned my old one, or y'all saw it. I gave it up. I did ban it, but I was like, look, <laughs> this ain't gonna work no more, <laughs> so. But and sometimes I put a little powder there. But um, yes, it's just really amazing to see all these flourishing. And every time I do this video, I just feel like I just have so many more brands added to my collection. And I don't have to go out of my way to find these brands. You know, like Fashion Fair is back, honey. You know, that was one of the original OGs for us. Going in with bronzer, I got my Vacay bronzer, and this is by Minted. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. So, just gonna go ahead and take an angle brush, and this is from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection. Just mentioning my brushes here, if you're wondering. This is from BK Beauty. Just gonna put a look how perfect this bronzer is. I, my main thing is I just want everybody to be inclusive. It's not like, oh my goodness, you know, but it's just, it's important to support because black women businesses, it just takes a lot to get things off the mark. You know, we get denied for venture capital more often than our counterparts. 
And it's just so sad and frustrating. All right, now for blush, I'm gonna go in with Paradise Venus by Pat McGrath. I just wanted to do something a little bit more neutral. I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath Black Coffee Permagel Liner. I'm just gonna tight line the bottom real quick. And for highlight, I'm gonna take the shade Golden Nectar. I'm holding it like this because, whoo, this is by Pat McGrath. And she's been through a lot. Every time I show y'all, I'm like, she's, she's been through a lot. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight. You know, I just thought about it. I was like, there are highlighters in that Danessa palette. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do my lashes real quick off camera, but I did find my Color to Rain lashes right here. So this is the style. What style? These are old, honey. They're called Diamond Status, and they're faux mink lashes. And it comes with a really nice hard case. So that I can't. I get it open. Oh boy. Me getting things open. It could just be a lot sometimes. I'll be right back. Um, th These lashes are a lot, so I tried, but I'm, I'm just going to have to go with the regular everyday ones. But, whew. These are my color wearing lashes, y'all. I think these were the only ones I could find. That's sad. We need to have more like lash brands. Yes, for sure. And I think I had some by Lena, but I don't have those styles anymore. But these are pretty. It's just a lot on my eyes. I'll be back. Okay, so I got my lashes on. I just went ahead and used the Kiss Rizzy lashes because the color ray ones, they were beautiful, but it was just too much for my eyes. For my bottom lashes, I went in with a little bit Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. Now for lipstick, we're gonna go in with Propa Beauty and I'm going to take the shade Audacious. And it's kind of like a burnt burgundy purpley color. And this line is beautiful. So when the line started off, they actually started off with lipsticks. For women, like, do I like this with this eye look? We gonna see in a second. <laughs> no, I'm not feeling it. Not with this top, not with this eye look, nope. <laughs> not feeling it. I'll choose a different lipstick. I'll be back. All right, we're gonna try this again. I have the shade Her Magic by Propa Beauty. And it's more of a nude shade, cause I'm like, no, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, this will work. Okay. And if you're unaware, the thing that is so nice about the Propa Beauty lipsticks is that they have a nude for every complexion shade basically out there. So even if you're not a black woman, you're a woman of color, you have problem finding a nude that's going to look for you, Propa Beauty more than likely has it for you. They're pretty affordable. All they have done so far is lips are lipsticks. They're more like a balmy feel, but they have a lot of pigment to them. So I do really appreciate them. Um, they can slip and slide and move around a lot, but I do really like them and the color selections are just gorgeous. All right, so this is the look. This is my black owned beauty video for 2022. I think the looks came out amazing. I just love that when I go in my collection that I have even more choices than I did the year before. I mean, and this is just a snapshot of what's out there on the market. There's still so many other black owned brands out there, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love that these brands are more and more accessible. They're becoming household names like Danessa Myers and Pat McGrath and Colored Rain and Propa Beauty. I know a lot of people are using these a lip bar. So I just love giving these brands exposure when I can, but I hope next year I have even more to choose from. So let me know down below in the comments how you enjoyed the look. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know I come out with another video. And subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. With all of that being said, you already know how we end the videos around here. We gotta hit it with the chair dance. Chair dance. Hey, 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 chair dance. Mm. Chair dance. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bye.